Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a tile backsplash to your kitchen designs. So to do this, we're gonna be using the wall editing tools within the 3D floor planner. And if you want to access those tools, you just need to make sure that you're in the 3D perspective mode when you're in the floor planner. So if you're in the floor plan mode, you're just gonna pop over here and jump into the 3D pers uh, perspective mode. Now when you do that, you can click on any of the walls that you wanna edit, and then you'll see a little tooltip with a pencil appear. Just click on that. That's gonna bring you into the wall editor and you'll see the wall that you've selected and the measurements for that wall. So if we wanna add a tile backsplash, I'm just gonna open up my 3D preview here. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna add a tile backsplash that's going to cover this area. So I just need to create a rectangular shape for that. So let's close this back down. We're gonna pop over to the right side panel and I'll click on the rectangular tool. I'm gonna click on one of the edges of the wall and then I'll move my mouse out and I'll just go all the way to the other side of the wall and I'll click to release. Now you can adjust the overall size of this rectangular shape by clicking and dragging on any of the edges and you'll see the measurements show here. So let's go ahead, now that we have that, let's add a tile to this particular space. So we're gonna pop over to the texture library. I'm gonna click into tile. There's a number of different categories that you can browse through, so just click into any of them. And then when you find a tile that you like, you can just go ahead and you can click on that tile, click directly into the rectangular shape, and you're gonna see that it all loads in. Now, if I wanna see what that looks like in my 3D design, I can just click on either of the blue areas here on the 3D previewer, so I'll click and hold down with the left button on my mouse and just drag it out, and it'll show me exactly what that's looking like. Now, when you're adding tile, you have a number of different options that you can use to customize the, the size and the layout of this tile. So if I click, well, actually this is already selected, but let's click on it. And uh, over here, you're going to see in the right side panel that I've got these different kind of settings that I can experiment with. If I wanted this tile pattern to be smaller, I could change the horizontal and the vertical scale of it by dragging these toggles to the left, and then you'll see how it decreases the size of the tile. You can also just put in a percentage as well. So when you come in, it's gonna start it out at 100%, and then if you wanted to, you could just say, okay, I'm gonna make this 75% or 150%, it's completely up to you. So you can decrease the overall size of your tile, or if you're looking for a more bold statement, you could just go ahead and dramatically increase the overall size of the tile as well. I'm gonna decrease it for now. You also have the ability to shift the horizontal and the vertical offset. So if we were dealing with a more bold pattern, let's just jump in here. Let's take something like this and let's really jack up the uh, overall size of this. Okay, so here's where the horizontal and the vertical offset would come in really handy. If you wanted to change the layout here so that certain parts of the tile are showing just above the countertop, you could change the vertical offset here and it will just pull up the tile to the position that you want. You can also change the horizontal offset. So if you wanted to center certain tile in the wall somewhere, you have the ability to do that. This is also really handy if you're trying to line up the tile lines or the grout lines with adjoining walls. So definitely play around with the horizontal and the vertical offset uh, if you're just trying to make sure that everything is lining up perfectly. You also have a rotation tool here. So if you wanted to change the overall rotation of the tile, you could just put in, let's say 45 degrees, and you'll see how that adjusts the overall tile layout on your wall. Now I'm gonna pop back to the one that I originally had just because I think I like that tile better. I'm gonna decrease the overall size of it. I'm going to, I think I'll leave the rotation as it is. I think I'm good with that. And let's go ahead and we're gonna save this to our kitchen design. Now, if I wanted to add this tile over here as well, I could just go ahead and click the duplicate tool on this uh, particular wall. I'm gonna click on the wall that I wanna add it to, and then I can just click the selected wall, and it will apply that tile to this wall as well. Now in this case, it's added the tile to match the height that I have over here, which is going all the way up to the bottom of this cabinet. In this case, if I really just wanted this to come to the bottom edge of this floating shelf, I can always click on this particular wall. We can edit this. I'll open up my 3D preview so I can see exactly where it is, and then I could just adjust this uh, rectangular shape and bring it down until I have it where, oh, 
lucky guess. So uh, I could just kind of bring it down so that I have it exactly where I want it to be. And then I can save that wall as well. Okay. Now, aside from adding tile to the walls, you can also just add textures to different kinds of textures to your walls as well. So let's say just for the sake of argument that this particular area in this house had exposed brick added to it. If I wanted to show that within my 3D, uh, 3D design, I can just click on this particular wall. I'm gonna click the edit tool on that wall. And this time we'll go back to the main category and we'll go into the brick section. Now there's different kinds of rustic brick and white brick, and you can just kind of browse through and see which options are available. And if you find one that matches your client's home, then you can click on it. You can click directly into that uh, wall and you'll see all of that brick texture applied to the wall. Again, if you want to, you could increase the overall size of the uh, brick. So if I open this up and I feel like, oh, maybe that's just a little small and it should be slightly bigger, I could just increase this to 125% and then we'll apply that and save this wall. And then you'll see exactly how it shows. Okay, so definitely pop into your Design Files account, give these features a try. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to create more custom kitchen designs. There's lots of tiles and textures to choose from. These same techniques would apply to adding in different wallpapers. Uh, so if you wanna test out the 3D uh, wall editing tool to add in wallpaper and paneling and things like that to your walls, you'll find all of that within the texture library. You're just gonna use the same techniques that I used here. And definitely, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.